Okay. This is my collection of zombies right here. We're gonna I'm gonna do my review on all these little guys. Uh, I'm actually big. <laughs> Alright. First we're gonna start from the uh, my least favorite to the most favorite. We'll start at number one. At no. Nineteen. Alright. The sexy swimmer. I strike him. This little guy is okay. Um, a little rusty on the hooks because I use them in salt water for the stripers, but. Eh, works good. Um, take my head out of the way. This lore, this lore is, it's a good weight. It casts country mile depending on what you have. Um, this one's really good. It's got the, oh, this one's really good. It's got the plastic on the hinges on it. Um, still does well. I mean, it's not brittle or anything, but it's got the nice glossy painting on it. It's nice. Alright, let me just put the hair back. Now, these, these are really good. These are cheaper swim baits. These are, um, lower price. So, you people out there who really don't want to spend too much money on them. Um, you got replicas here. These are the Cabela's Fisherman Series swim baits. Um, they just do very well. They work good. They swim well. I had a couple of fish bite on them. This is blueback herring color. And let me get shad. Then we got shad color. Natural shad, I think this is. It's got some nice red eye. All realistic looking. Swims real good. I like it. These are really good lures. Um, bought, I picked these up at a Kmart the other day for about four bucks a piece. They float on the top and they Basically, you swim them slow, you can twitch them. And these are made by Matt Sewell. And, um, they're really nice. They're, they're really cool. They're really cool lore. I really like them. Um, they, these swim very well. I had, I, I had one, they also, um, Dick Sporting Goods has, um, their own lore like this too, Copycat. Um, but they work. They work. I like them all. You got the shiner color right here. And you got dirty shiner. Not dirty shiner, dirty, dirty shad. Alright. Now for the XPS series for Bass Pro. This one is really, it's, it's really realistic looking to me. A lot of people said that mm, it doesn't look too good, but it looks pretty damn awesome to me actually. Swim's okay. It's got a little stiff. It's a little stiff in the water, but hey, eh, still swims. All you need to do is put one of these babies in the spawning bed. It'll be swimming bass. It's a little thick on the head. Doesn't really look too realistic, but hey, looks like a sunfish right here, right? All right. Here's the Cabela series swim bait. And it's also held on by felt. Um, this also looks like a sunfish. I like the sunfish copy, like the sunfish look to them because I live near a lake that all bass will eat sunfish and they get real big bass there. The tail doesn't look too realistic, but you get what you pay for. Alright, this little guy is actually really awesome. I like this for. Um, but I, I use ultralight spinning rods, and um, off of Martha's Vineyard and off the jetties in Menemshire, or even on the boat, I control the I control these for albacore, albacore and bonita um, stripers. They they mow it down. They love them. I saw a lot of people use these down at the Cape. I live in the East Coast, so that that we get we don't get too many huge bass. I'll eat this, but hey, bass will eat it too. I mean, it's not, it doesn't take a huge bath to get this in his mouth. It looks realistic, ultra realistic looking. I like it. I mean, I like harder, hard baits than the rubber ones because you keep on losing them, but 
also rubber baits they're cheap they're cheaper you know so it's like it's even now now this big boy right here is a storm kicking stick um it, it, it's a size 16 and this 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 is a nice nice lure um it, it swims good but when you get a huge i had a huge i had a gigantic striper hit this and he ripped this part off i was kind of bummed he hit when he hit it and then it was like a little bit close to the rock so when he hit it it also hit the rock so it might have made made the tail end fall off but it's a nice lure swims good it's got a nice big rattle in there Got the saltwater hooks. All right. Now I'm gonna show you these guys. The Storm Live Kicking Shad. A nice soft plastic lure. Hard eye right here. I will tell you the XPS ones, the ones for um the Bass Pro. I didn't have a good time with them. It's just because um, they're a little more stiffer, so. You have to fish them a lot slower, either that or there's something wrong with them. It kept on skimming up and water skiing basically on the top. <laughs> but um, these guys, they're more softer, they're looser in the hinges. That's one of the things that people need to know. Or if you get a swim bait, um, to check the hinges and loosen them up a little. So they have the most, the most wiggle in them, you know, the most dance in them. And they work good. They work good. Get it at a nice, slow, steady pace in the springtime. You get some. I got them on and dirty shad, regular shad, bluegill, and I think this is an overcast. All right. I'm gonna go to this floor now. The BBZ One Baby. Now this is an awesome lure, really incredible. The price is low at at um fourteen ninety nine, which is okay. This is good. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna lose it. I don't lose it. I don't. I, I use. I put this on braid. I put this on ten pound braid, and um, I usually use a kayak, so I can if I ever get stuck in the twigs or anything, I can go that. I can go there. And I got boots or waders on. I just go and grab it. Um, I've caught a lot of fish on this, despite the fact that yesterday, uh, the day before yesterday, I got a salmon on this exact lure. Um, I will post up a picture soon um, of the salmon. It was it was a good nine, 18, 19 nature, and it gave me a nice bite. Um, I have caught a lot of fish um, this spring on it. Bass, trout. Here's another color. I use this one in the salt water, and um, Albies, Albies and Bonita slammed it, and actually they took the fin off. But still, this one's fine. I wonder if I can get some replacements for it. You got, I know they got the tails and stuff, but yeah, works good. Now yeah, for the moment of truth, the big boy. All right, this is the BBZ One Junior. This is the six inch, made by the swim bait king Bill Simentel and he 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 makes some good baits. Um you got the you got the the soft plastic tail in the back for ultra ultra realistic swimming effect. Um I had some fish bite it so and the scales came off too the little scales are on the side. So it kinda came off but hey I can always get replacements. Um you got the nice fins here, it's all custom looking this is really a nice bait. I like the ocean ones, but they're kind of a little bit, a little bit too much for me. But they they must do good. I heard people saying that they use them for tuna. Ow, 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 ow! They use them for tuna, and um, they hold up. They got nice thick hinges there. Although um, I did break mine on the on the um, on a dam when I was casting it, but eh, that's how it is. I was kind of bummed because it was a twenty dollar lure, but mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll get. I, I'm gonna get. I might get her. Maybe I'll. I got the receipt for it, so 
got the nice spin. No, I want to get one of these in yellow perch color and floating. Or in sexy lavender shad. But, um, these are nice baits, you know. It's just, and, and it has this rocking motion to it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That nice rocking motion to it. No, it's like it's like really realistic looking, and it rocks too. So it's like. You know, it looks like our actual fish. Looks really cool. Um, but um, I'll make more videos. I'll make some. I'll post up some pictures of my catches on these baits. Um, I'm going down to the Cape right now, and um, I should make another video by next week. All right, see us.